guys, good morning. Next wonderful morning again. This morning is actually Tuesday morning and um, I come, come back to one of my favorite locations again. The last time I come here the sea was very rough and dirty. So sea well calmed down now so I go check if the dirtiness kinda clear up and see if we can go ahead and do some spear fishing and this man is two of us me and yard style fishing yeah so he's up by his car getting himself ready so me I go check out the water to see if the water is ideal if the climate is the, 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 the condition is ideal yeah if the water is clear so and my way through the little chop now look a pass as we will call it going to see what's going on down by the sea so catch me down there right yes so guys they look very they look okay from here so walking going down by the seaside now just to make sure uh, look kind of okay the water look a little brownish though and the time is seven o'clock on the dot now the water look a little brownish brownish so this is the track right here and down. you see the early morning sunrise and the water is very calm you can see the water have a little brownish look right here mm -hmm. and there's a man out there with a little canoe looking boat see if I can zoom in on him a little bit yeah here he is look like he's gonna do some fishing Water is very calm though. But it looks a little brownish because around that side there's a river moat around that side. So if that river comes in any of that river come down as we would say, if the rain cause that river to come down, probably is gonna make the water a little murky. So not sure yet, but the water colour is look brownish. I'm going to work with it the same way I'm going to work with it the same way so. I'm going to go back up by the mic here now and um, get my gears ready put on my swimsuit and um, rig up myself and then I'll come back down by the seaside and enter in the water so I will get myself ready now and come back So I'm in the water now and the hard vibe show me some lobster down through this cave and I need the rocks. It was about 10 but they were too small so I didn't take any. I just move along. So here I actually spot my first fish, the grunt, the first grunt. Take a quick shot there and get him.
This one is a lovely one. And the water, the visibility wasn't good at all. Eight to ten feet away, you couldn't see anything. You can see the spear latch in this grunt quite good. Giving me a little struggle to get it out. So here I saw about a four pound jack right behind this rock. So I'm gonna zoom in and slow it down. There he is. Swim out of range. So our next grunt in this crack. Could not get a clean shot, so I move along. Take an next lovely shot there. The next grunt again. And see I have two lovely grunt. Make a next dive again. To check for grunts. So next dive, searching for grunt, actually spot one, take a while fire up and a school of grunt up under that rock, manage to land one there, and at this time if you are still watching please consider to subscribe that bell for the notifications when I upload a new video
that boatman on his oxen every size fish pot make our next dive again on the gun spot make a wild shot over that one and miss so headed in now and I saw this little rock it's a puffer fish and some Sarge and fish underneath. Yes, guys. You know the dive for me, I know. We have fun yard style fishing for coming. Yes, guys. So we are out of the water now. Um, we spin about, let me see, from probably 8 o'clock till 10. So that's up to boat. We send about three and a half hours in the water. Yeah. And uh, me catch um, two grown fish and a nice size parrot. So we catch three lovely fish and yard style fish in um, catch a squid and a doctor fish. And say I'm gonna deal with some soup. To me style of soup them better, you know. Yeah. Long time in a boy in a soup. So me you now, me and them are fish you now, me I gonna do some steaming. Hopefully, some steaming, some okra and thing. Yeah. Because then we go. We find two fish, see them, we have to give thanks. Yes, man. I remember to check out yard style fishing, see them. Then we go. So, I go home here now. I go clean them up, because I don't clean them up yet. I do some clean up here now, and then I go home and see what I can go and fill. Yes, guys. So, cleaning up finish you now. So I'm going to head home here now, see? Yeah, man. Leave the wonderful sea, you know? Calm, calm. Good day. Yeah, man. Only well, spear fishing, you have an effect, man. But if you come into the beach to have a swim or any other activity, it's a lovely day. Mm -hmm. So I go ahead with my nose in. Okay guys, so I'm home now and I'm in the kitchen. And what we have here, two lovely grunts and um, nice size parrot there. And this one, we have this one in my fridge for, from one of my dives. I did recently. Yeah, so I had it to the three fish and um yeah. So I'm gonna do just a regular steam. Steam fish with some hokro. Yeah. Nothing special. Regular steam fish with some hokro, okay? Yes man, so Wash them off with some vinegar already. This is some fresh water they made now. Just water. And I'll go add a little seasoning with a little salt on them. Yep. And then let's see what take place. So stay tuned then, okay? Yes guys, so do some season up now. So here we have um honey and scallion and thyme and hot pepper and a little tubes of garlic yeah and the original seasoning well rub on and we add a couple slices and um, two two slices each in each fish yes for the penetration of the season yeah and um, here me have um, these are some carrots and okra and sweet pepper yeah and Irish missing from here, so but not using any Irish today for this cook. So yeah, this is the season up, and um, me I go put the pot on now, grease the pot with the butter, as usual, and then start the cooking process. Right, just greasing the pot, pot on to a nice chunk of butter. And not gonna add any of the um, 
the hook run or the carrot before the fish because this pot is a non-stick pot so I guess I won't be needing to do that need to do that can just add the fish guys so this is the look and um, what next I'm going to mix a little bit of coconut milk with, a, with some noodle with some Jamaican cat noodle or that the, as we would say hen noodle yes yeah, so I'm gonna mix it like that and just pour it over it wow looking lovely already you know this is the, the cock soup and the noodle now, and the coconut milk. You want to be here to smell this. Smell lovely. Yes, man. Especially when I just add the coconut milk to it with the cock soup. First, me I try mix the coconut milk with the cock soup together, you know. And the, the, the nose part of work. Yes, man. And on this side of this, guys, I want to do a couple of boiled bananas. Yeah, some green banana. So, that's the idea. guys looking very nice man got that mm. very nice uh, lovely you know yes guys look like we're in business team take time on coming in wow forgot the camera lens boy mm. in business almost can come off you know just testing the uppers sometimes you buy some across sometimes some of them tough you know check in again still I check the okra them and the carrot to make sure them you know, the carrot them look alright okra them feel alright so that equals to ready when you add that up equals to ready ok yes man this is what I have on the side these are some banana Yellow yam, no dumpling. Though. Yellow yam inside, just boil banana and yellow yam only alongside the fish, steam fish. So, I make the, the banana and the yam cook and then um, do a dish out and see how it goes. So, stay tuned for that. Zin. Well, guys, this is it. Some lovely boiled banana and um, yellow yam. Some steamed fish with the okra. Yeah. Two lovely dish here. 
Yes, man. Looking very nice. Yes, so this is the fun about spear fishing. You can catch your own food and come and cook it up as you like. Yes, man. So, once more again, peeps, thanks for watching. As always, remember to subscribe. Remember to hit that bell for all the notifications. I post a new video. Alright, so see you later then, alright?